All right, thanks everyone for joining us today. Today we have a technician joining us from Duffy Power. His name's Johnny Bradford from Los Angeles. Johnny, thanks for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me. So uh, let's start by, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and how long you've been with Duffy Power? Well, um, I uh, have been working for Duffy Power for 10 years now. Um, this September will be my 10th year. Um, I've been a, a diesel mechanic before that and got into the uh, generator business uh, shortly before I started Duthy. So I worked at another company for a couple of years, then I, then I uh, got hired on at Duthy Power. Nice, nice. And, and let's talk a little bit about uh, Duthy Power Services. Can you just give us a little background on them? Sure. Uh, Duthy Power has been in business since 1965 in uh, Wilmington and Long Beach. Started off in Wilmington and then uh, moved to Long Beach, California. Uh, which is just down the street. Um, and we service everywhere from uh, pretty much the Oregon border all the way around Nevada and uh, down to the Mexican border. We have a facility in San Diego as well. So oh, that's yeah. our, yeah. So, and now we're starting to uh, uh, facilitate uh, some customers in Nevada and Arizona as well. Okay, great, great. So now you, you mentioned you're in California. And that is one of the strictest areas as far as being hit by the regulations with COVID-19. So can you just talk to us a little bit about what it's like being in the field, um, just kind of day to day out there in the field in, with all these restrictions around and just kind of the challenges that you face? Sure. Um, one, of the, one of the biggest things that we noticed right off the bat, um, freeways are empty. So really, I don't know if that would be a challenge or a well, that's quite <laughs> or the for California. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, usually, when it takes us uh, an hour and a half to get to downtown LA from Long Beach on a normal day, in this we're getting there in 15 minutes. Oh wow! Um, it's a it's a ghost town. There's uh, very few people on the roads. Um, uh, and I guess that is a, that is one of our challenges too, because when we show up on site we have to get in contact with the engineers and the, uh, the managers and everybody, and there's nobody to be found. And there's always, you know, you always have to scrounge to find somebody to let you in, give you access to the generator, the building even. Now, as far as um, PPE, like how, how is Duffy kind of setting you guys up for success? Well, um, they've always provided gloves uh, for us. Uh, with this, they've, uh, pr they're providing hand sanitizer, um, and uh, they had one of the ladies, uh, I'll showcase this uh, beautiful face mask. Um, and one of the ladies uh, make face masks for everybody. Oh, that's great. Um, they, also, they also paid a little extra for uh, face masks for the family too. So they, oh, wow. Uh, they and did, and yeah. you're, you're making these in-house, someone from Duffy's making these? Yes, yeah, a lady has an, her own embroidery uh, company and oh, okay. uh, she makes the masks for us. and. And ever since this started, uh, as soon as we got the stay-at-home order from the governor, um, uh, Duffy got on it and had uh, had that lady uh, make us these face masks. Okay, well that's that's great to hear. Good to hear that you guys are you know kind of taken care of in that sense. So you mentioned that there's not a lot of people on the road and it's difficult to find people on site. But once you're on site, um, would you say it's easier or faster to get the job done without anybody around to kind of hassle you? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, you know, we can pretty much go in there and, and get the job done. And there's hardly ever a customer standing over our shoulder and asking, <laughs> yeah, are you done yet? <laughs> um, you know, but we do get, uh, you know, because of the traffic, we're usually there a little, little sooner and then we're out sooner too. So um, uh, that's, that's always nice. Benefit. That's always nice for the customer also. Sure. And uh, across the board, um, how are you all getting to the job sites? If there's more than one of you, how does that happen? Well, we all take our own trucks. So we're never carpooling in the same vehicle. Um, um, uh, once we're on site, we maintain our six feet distance. Um, the only time where that kind of breaches is if we have something really heavy and becomes a safety concern. Um, you know, cause we're still doing a hundred percent work out there. We're still doing rebuilds and we're still doing uh, our maintenance and batteries and load banks and whatnot. But uh, we wear our PPE and we, you know, we stay safe about it. We don't touch each other and it's very limited time that we're yeah. close together. So, 
well, you know, as long as you guys are being safe and cautious and sticking with all the, all the rules that are going on in your location, um, that's something that's different for technicians all over the country because the regulations are kind of changing wherever they are. But it seems like, you know, the national standard, six feet, social distancing, all that's the same. Do you have any advice for other technicians who are just out there every day same, doing the same thing? Really stay clean, guys. Uh, keep your masks on when you're out in public. Uh, use your hand sanitizer. Uh, my, my hands are cracked and dry because of the hand sanitizer. But, you know, I'm, I know that I'm coming home to my family nice and clean. Um, just, you know, don't, don't be scared to go out there and, and to do the work, uh, as long as you maintain your, your social distancing and, and you stay clean, mask on and stay healthy. That's, you know, pretty much, pretty much the advice I can give about that. Well, that, that's good advice. Johnny, thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate you giving us time. And we're glad to hear a technician's perspective. I think that's something that we were missing in these interviews. We want to hear from the folks who are out there on the front line. Fantastic. Thank you, Nathan. I appreciate this.